right, my name's Louise Bedford. Today I'm with Shane O'Sullivan. Shane O'Sullivan has a successful background in the sound editing and recording business and today he's actually a full-time trader. He joined the mentor program with Chris Tate and myself, Louise Bedford, and I'd like to ask him a couple of questions about how he found the course and how he approaches trading. Welcome, Shane. Hi, Louise. How are you? Great. Could you perhaps give us a little bit of an idea about your background as a trader? Uh, okay, well, I had my um, business uh, up and running for probably about oh, 10 years. I guess I closed it down maybe three years ago. Uh, and towards the end of that, I actually sort of hooked up with a company that was, um, oh, they, they tended to advocate um, buy and write strategies. So you would buy um, shares and then write covered calls over them. Uh, one of Chris's pet, ta um, pet hates, I sure. understand. <laughs> um, look, that worked terrifically in a bull market and, and to be honest, you know, I was taking advice from a full service broker which they had in their company. Um, look, all of that worked fantastically in a market that was absolutely booming. You, you really couldn't seem to go wrong. But I, I get the feeling that um, I could have got my, one of my dogs to uh, put his foot on a share and said, pick that one, <laughs> and I would have got similar results. So there was no systematic approach? No, none at all. No, no, they actually didn't um, permit setting stops. Um, oh, really? With their broker, no, they didn't have them at all and still don't. Um, and so I, I really wasn't getting any discipline at all. I mean, basically I was um, just phoning, speaking to the broker who would then say, look, I think this, this and this. I'd then go through those, you know, two or three recommendations and decide what I thought sat best with us and uh, look that was you know hugely successful there for a while but unfortunately once that market changed I guess towards November 2007 things started to get a bit choppy and uh, you know we've been pretty much in a downtrend since then uh, there really wasn't a one recommendation that was coming out that had any merit whatsoever um, and of course not having any stops and not really even knowing about stops, to be honest. I mean, things were just eroding and eroding and eroding, and it, all the time they, the advice would be, now, why don't you buy this mm. <laughs> and write and I some think calls that, over it? That can happen too, because people become very reliant on brokers' advice, and then they pin their hopes to that broker, and if that broker moves on, then the trader hasn't developed as a person so that and they can't replicate the results. Absolutely, and, and I wasn't. I, I really was... Um, sort of giving the responsibility to somebody else and um, once a, a number of decisions started to uh, or advice started to come back and it was poor um, I started to reevaluate where things were going um, and it sort of came to the point where the entire broking team at this company departed on the one day oh really mm -hmm. yeah there were some ins and outs that happened there one side says one thing and one the company says another but um it was pretty much at that point it was like no nah, no nah, i can't and i'd at that point i'd already been i guess a couple of months under uh, both yourself and and chris and learning about stops learning about uh, discipline and and setting a plan and it, it was at that point that i thought well you know what i'm actually going to it's time now to sever those ties and just um, do this myself and either live or die by my own decisions, which it's, um, it sits much better with me. And that is actually one of the things that Chris and I have tried to emphasise from the very beginning, that to take responsibility for yourself as a trader and to also be able to trade on the upside but on the downside as well because just to position this in time for the people listening we are just a few days hence from the largest stock market drop since 1987 and it's been a prolonged downtrend and all of our people have been making money that have been following our system so I was so excited to talk to my broker the other day Shane he actually said that there's nobody that we've trained who has suffered a significant loss on the share market no, and, oh. that's exactly right and I'm, I'm with the same people I'm with CBS yes and um you know, prior to the ASX taking, oh, sorry, ASIC taking the decision that um, to ban short selling. Yeah, to ban short selling. I actually opened um, a couple of short positions, which one is still going and is up 55% now since um, early September, and the other one got stopped out uh, just the other day with about a 30% profit. So I mean, it's that's terrific stuff, and I would have never ever envisaged. I didn't know what short selling was um, prior to that. Um, you know, so look, and so that's it is with a some direct result that, yeah, of the mentor program. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it, and look, it is when you take um, responsibility like that. It is with a certain amount of trepidation at the beginning because you're now no longer taking any advice from anyone other than, I mean, we're talking 
generic advice from both yourself and Chris regarding p- particular positions. You obviously can't give um, investment advice, but you certainly give good advice about um, techniques that should be followed and, and how to understand when a trend's in place or where to set stops, how to position size and money management, all of that sort of things. I, I had no... All of the essentials as a, as a trader, that they're the things that we try to relay and impart. Excellent. So what would you say would be the main things that you've learned from Chris? Um, look, I guess Chris, I mean, he's very methodical in how he approaches things um, and I would assume he's quite disciplined from his approach. So I, I guess from Chris, a lot of there's been a lot of technical aspects um, and I understand at times he doesn't like to answer questions directly. He likes to um, make you actually find out your own answers, which I think is a good thing and that sort of sits well with me. So I guess he's really, he has sort of instilled in me um, money management as being one of the primary um, aims of, um, of trading, you know, just to protect your capital. Um, the longer I can stick around in the game, I will make money. It's as simple as that. Um, the techniques I'm learning um, just make me feel confident about that. So I'm actually learning to be able to handle my trades um, and you know, not all of them are winning. In fact, probably not even um, greater than 50%. But my losing trades, are, I have set at a particular level, so I can't lose more than X. But my winning trades, it's blue sky, basically. So and that is one of the successful principles as well that I think all of the successful traders implement is that you keep your losses small and you let your profits run. And absolutely. that's spectacular that you've mentioned that, Shane. I'm so excited about that. Really good. And well, how about it's so in terms... It, it's so true because you, you, you really don't realise that. I mean, the, the amount of times that both of you have spoken of um, people who actually <laughs> um, let their losses go and cut mm. their cut their profits you know something is starting to climb for them or they're short selling and it's dropping for them and they're um they're actually getting in profit and further into profit they start to think oh i wonder if i should take some profit out of that and and the view is why you can actually <laughs> cap your own potential by A- doing that absolutely yeah and in terms of some of the lessons that you've learned from me during the course Look, I guess you've focused primarily on um, a lot of the psychological aspects of things, um, and and I think we had spoken before. I mean, I, I had never been an advocate for anything like psychology in any way. Um, I guess I was one of those naysayers for, for ages and ages, but I mean, I've found things like, and even not just to do with my trading, but things like um, my daily journal, mm. I've just found that to be invaluable just in life. I mean, it's... Um, you know, I, I may write about a lot of stuff that I'm doing to do with trading, but I may just put down anything that comes into my head. It could be gobbledygook, and that's how it's going to sound if I look back on it. But you're just unloading, you know, things from the previous day or if you're writing in the evening from the day that's just gone. Um, and I just find that fantastic. There's so many things that I've written down there um, that you, you, they're not really things that you would actually just talk about to somebody. So That's you're it. actually sort of talking to yourself and, um, and look, I haven't taken to going back over them and, um, and seeing if there's any recurrent themes, but I'm sure there are here and there, and, uh, but you tend to pick those up on the day that you're writing them. You sort of feel, gee, I'm sure I've said this before, I really got to, and you know, then you'll start to write, I really have to do this, this and this. And, you know, and we've certainly found people who have their life in balance, they're the ones that go on to trading success as well. Right. Now, in terms of if somebody was sitting on the fence, wondering whether they should do the mentor program or not, what would you say to them, Shane? Well, I mean, I'd say that you're absolutely mad if you don't do something like this. I mean, uh, you know, I I lucked into it somehow. I don't recall how. I think I might have done um, a a chart recognition or a pattern recognition workshop with you. That's right. When I was still with um, this company. And... um, so I have a feeling I may have just you know checked into the website and seen this thing and thought you know what this is this is just exactly what I need and um, you know even in that first session where we um, sat for I guess it was two hours and just went through some fairly basic stuff the outline of the course and and what's gone since I mean we've stopped when did we stop this July mm-hmm. no or a little bit after it's, it was a, a number of months ago anyway but the support that is still coming from uh, within the mentor 
a website with the forum there as well as just the standard trading game forum i mean that sort of stuff is invaluable if i've got a, a question i'm i'm unsure about um, a technical indicator that i'm trying to put together i can post that at the mentor forum and usually same day somebody will get back whether it's yourself or chris one of the other mentorees will get back and somebody will answer it somebody else will have another opinion and it's just terrific to get that um that sort of toing and froing with with other traders who actually know what they're talking about thank you so much for your time today shane i really do appreciate it and we'll be chatting on the forum bye for now my pleasure